हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू शॉर्ट हैंड सुपर फास्ट राइटर्स दोस्तों आप चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लें और बेल आइकन को दबाएं डेली शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन के लिए और इस तरह के और भी डिक्टेशन लिखने के लिए आप हमारे प्लेलिस्ट पर जा सकते हैं आज के मैटर के ट्रांसक्रिप्शन के लिए आप डिस्क्रिप्शन की लिंक पर भी जा सकते हैं दोस्तों पिछले एक महीने में हमने वॉलीम नंबर सिक्सटीन कम्प्लीट कर लिया है तो आप उसे एक बार रिवाइज ज़रूर करते रहेंगे और अब हम वॉल्यूम नंबर फोर्टीन स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं शुरू करते हैं आज का डिक्टेशन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर टू एटी सेवन वॉल्यूम नंबर फोर्टीन से बी रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू द ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स who have made such a meaningful contribution to the debate i also feel a little disappointed that this year the demands of the ministry of external affairs could not come before the house as they have always been coming year after year and i think this should be the last year in which such a thing has happened from next year we should see to it that the ministry of external affairs ensures india's foreign policy is brought into focus as it has always been brought we are really discussing something which has baffled the whole world the changes in the world during the last few years and probably during the last few months have been so quick so difficult to explain in terms of time in terms of motivation in terms of immediate or remote cause so there is an element of bafflement an element of the unknown unforeseen unanticipated in all these events and therefore when you are in the midst of such quick baffling changes what you see in front of you is a new set of uncertainties we do not know how this has happened and we do not know equally what is going to happen next at best we can only make an assessment of the situation and on the basis of that assessment we could perhaps in a vague manner in a general way determine the policy of our government or determine the policies of other governments other powers in the world so the interaction also becomes full of uncertainties and therefore today when we talk of foreign policy when we talk of the international situation no one can be sure that what he is saying and bound to happen and what someone else is saying will never happen so this is the kind of new uncertainty in which we find ourselves today there is nothing wrong in owning this in admitting this since we have had a consensus on foreign policy right from the beginning it is good that all the speeches which i have had the occasion to listen to are having the same import so i would say that we are in the quest for a new policy framework for the country both inside the movement of non alignment as the founder member of the movement of non alignment and also as india per se 
it is for us to ensure that the ending of the cold war does not mean domination of any one power center precisely on this point we have had several speeches now it will be india's endeavor to see that the end of the cold war or the emergence of only one power block or super power does not mean the subjugation of all other countries who on some issue or the other do not see eye to eye with that super power i have no doubt in my mind that india will have to play that role it need not be confrontation there is no need for confrontation even in a democratized uni- united nations for instance for which we are making all efforts there is possibility there is likelihood of a difference of opinion and if that democratization continues on the right lines india will have a role to play there is no question of the role of india and similar countries coming to an end therefore what we are looking for is a democratized functioning of the world community wherein the decision is not on the basis of armaments on the basis of money power on the basis of other considerations but on the basis of justice and fair play and that should be our endeavor so it is the same struggle in a different context with different tools perhaps therefore i do not think that the role of india which we have cherished so far will ever end and i am absolutely certain that we will continue this we have also said it is for us to ensure that the emergence of new economic powers such as germany and japan works for the betterment of our poor and not only for the enrichment of the rich this is what my visit to germany is all about we have found that it is not a unipolar world in all respects yes in the military sense it is unipolar but in the economic sense it is multipolar it is multicentric therefore there is really no point in only emphasizing the unipolar nature of the world there are so many economic power centers in the world india is not an economic power center but india has an importance which cannot be ignored by any economic power center and that come out loud and clear in my visit to germany i am happy about it because it is not simply what we are going to get from germany tomorrow that we discussed about it is something much more where does india stand in the new setup of europe sir the new world order based on the philosophy of non violence initiated by gandhi ji and incorporated in the 2006 delhi declaration what happens to that commitment we stand committed to that it is true that we are having disarmament much has happened much more needs to happen in the field of disarmament the intermediate missiles more or less have been 
wiped out and then there is sizable reduction in the other missiles and so on but there is nothing like total and complete disarmament yet in sight even today the armaments that they have are enough to destroy the world many many times over so what are we really talking about we are talking about a very slow and very limited amount of disarmament that has been brought about but what india stands for is total complete disarmament and not only disarmament in the sense of not having nuclear arms but a world which is so thanks for watching do like subscribe and share